Grand Rising everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything is okay. And I wish you guys let's double check this microphone. I wish you guys the best of the best of luck this week. And the days and the years to come. I wish you all the best. Now today's video I've been thinking about is going to be called sleepwalking. The video is going to be called sleepwalking. So we've been sleepwalking this whole time, okay? It is only a person who wakes up that they will realize that they have been sleepwalking the whole time. Let's talk about this whole thing called the Matrix. You guys hear a lot of stories. The Matrix, or the Matrix this and the Matrix that. You guys hear a lot of uh, those kind of stories about the Matrix. The Matrix... As you might want to term it, you might have a different word for it, but the matrix actually refers to, it is a program, it is like a system, it is a program, it is like, um, when you're talking about the matrix, we're not talking about a physical object, that this is what the, the matrix is, or that is what the matrix is, it's not a physical object, it is a program that is designed to capture people and trap people in a certain cycle, a repeated cycle, not for their benefits, own benefit, but for the benefit of other people. It, it could be a group of people, it could be an individual, it could be a group of people, it could be a community, it could be anything. So the matrix, that term, I don't know where it came from, but me, I understand that that term has something to, the term matrix has got something to do with uh, narcissists. Why am I talking about the narcissists in this particular video? And why are they part of this so-called matrix? Did you know that you could have a narcissistic pastor, for example, let us say a pastor running a church. And that pastor has trapped thousands of souls in that church. They are telling them about Jesus, they are telling them about this, about the scriptures, they are talking about God and whatever. Some of them are even doing witchcraft, pretending to do miracles and stuff like that, but they have trapped actually in that church thousands and thousands of souls. You know guys, the world that we live is very spiritual. So the moment you start to understand that the world is spiritual, is when you start to make very powerful decisions and very conscious decisions to get out of this matrix. Because it's a trap, it's a system, it's a trap, it's a cycle. And somewhere, somewhere, somewhere has got to break that cycle. Me, I said no to those cycles. I broke out of those cycles. So you can find a person. Yes, in the whole week, they may have their own, uh, regular jobs. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. Recently, I was in uh, Uganda. I went, to, I went home to visit Uganda. And there was... Uh, so I was walking around in the city center. In the, um, it was around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I was walking around, taking a walk in the city center. And I had this noise coming from the middle of the town, the middle of the city, in the, in the middle of the city center, Kampala. There was a very big noise coming from, coming from somewhere. And I asked, I asked a guy next, uh, there was a guy moving around. I said, well, what is that noise? It was coming from a building up there. And the guy told me that is a church. It was one o'clock in the afternoon. So there was people there worshipping, singing and everything and everything. Now that thing, it reminded me of another church, similar church which used to have those things called lunch hours, lunch hours, they call them lunch hours or lunch services. Where people get away from their jobs and they come and sit in that particular church and they are going to be worshipping for the next two, three hours. They call, them the, they call it the afternoon service. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking that these are working times. These are, this is the time where people are supposed to go and hustle and make money to feed their families. But somebody opens a church and, tells them that, and, and uh, entices them to come for lunch hours only for them to actually start siphoning their money. Because usually in those kind of lunch services, because I've been to one, I wasn't participating, but I used to work in that place where, where it was. They would pass on these baskets to collect money from people. 
Are you guys following? In that same time when people are supposed to be at work, these pastors and whatever they have, they have, they have launched those lunch services. For them, what people don't actually what people don't don't actually understand is that even those pastors are at work. They open those churches. It's a job. It's a gold mine for them. So they know that okay, these lunch services they're going to make a million. That lunch service they're going to make a million. Now there are these people who are actually leaving their jobs and taking their savings to come to the lunch service so that they can offer it to the pastor. Now this thing is a cycle, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be fooled. I don't say, and I don't tell you guys, there's a problem with those systems and churches and everything, but you need to be careful what kind of church you're following, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of these churches you see around, they are scums. They are actually run by, uh, by narcissists, and they are actually trapping a lot of souls in those kind of cycles. And guys, I can promise you something. When you have been trauma bonded with the church, with those pastors and everything, it is going to be very difficult to, to break away from that bond. You can almost never leave that church. It is going to become a part of you. For the longest period of time are you guys following let's double check our microphone i don't want the problems of last time so you find those pastors they are the ones running those churches they have trapped people in cycles the people just continue they are rolling like a ball that is the matrix it, is, it can be a church another matrix can be your family so, like for us, for example, this is why I've told you that the matrix is not a physical object. It's just certain incidents and situations that are meant, like they're like programs meant to actually, actually capture people's minds into a cycle and to bond them into a cycle that they can be very difficult to break out of that cycle if they do not have divine intervention. Now, let's talk about... Um, Another matrix called the family. Now, in the family, sometimes you can find you have this um, narcissistic father, narcissistic father, uh, mother, whatever, the family system, narcissistic family dynamic. The entire system is dysfunctional. And actually, not even one of the members in that system understands that the whole family system is dysfunctional. None of them understands this. They are all following the same cycle, the whole pattern going in cycles. They cannot understand they are involved in a narcissistic family dynamic. So when the black sheep wakes up, like for example, I woke up, what was it? It was around three and a half years ago. And I knew that actually there was even something called a narcissistic family dynamic. I didn't know that even sometimes narcissistic families exist. And I've been a part of that system for the last 40 years. So we can talk about, we've talked about the churches, we've talked about the families, we can talk about even relationships. You are involved with the narcissist. For the longest period of time, you have been sleeping for the longest period of time. Only for you to wake up one day and you realize, after 25 years, you're waking up that you've been actually married to a narcissist. You didn't even know this. So now you're waking up and you're realizing, these individuals have kept you a slave and they have kept you asleep for the longest period of time. And, they see, uh, and they, 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 this thing can go on and on and on. We can be talking about so many We can be talking about some governments that are being run by narcissists. We can be talking about churches. We can talk about families. We can talk about talking about relationships. We can talk about schools. We can even go into the medical field, the medical department. I have personally seen psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists that are working in the medical system. So you can imagine you have a problem, you go there and you're sitting down with this doctor who is a narcissist and you're hoping to get some help from them. So if you look around the world, ladies and gentlemen, in this uh, particular moment that we live in, there is a lot of souls on this planet. They are all sleepwalking. They do not understand what is going on. They are just going around like a ball. They are moving like a ball. They are going, actually, we can even talk about work situations. They even sometimes work situations that are run by narcissists. So this whole thing of uh, the metrics, what you hear about talking about the metrics, this whole thing is a narcissistic project. It's a narcissist project. There is many of them, they're everywhere. They're in the medical fields, they're in the families, they're in uh, governments, they're in uh, churches, they're in schools, they're everywhere. Their only job is to keep people as asleep as they can. Is the reason as to what I've told you guys in my videos. The worst moment for a narcissist is when a person wakes up to their BS. 
when a person get, ever gets an awakening one day and they awaken to that BS, they are able to free themselves and to detach from their, to, to detach and break those trauma bonds. That is the worst moment of a narcissist because at that moment they are now realizing that they do not have any control of that particular soul. That soul is breaking free. They no longer have control over that soul and is what is terrifying the narcissist. Many guys have done videos on this. The narcissist does not want you to know they are narcissist. And there is a reason why. The sleeper you are, the better for them. Because then it is easier for them to control you. You are under their control. They can manipulate and control you because you are asleep. You don't know what they are doing behind the scenes. So it's very easy for them to have control over your body and soul. On my channel, we already have people who have been sleeping for... I was sleeping for seven years in, in a narcissistic marriage. There's guys who have been sleeping for ten years. They are sleepwalking. You are walking. Yes, you wake up like everybody else. You brush your teeth. You eat the breakfast and the dinner. You drop the kids to school. And you are under abuse. Mental and emotional abuse. And you don't even know it. People have been sleep, sleepwalking for twenty years. I had a client uh, before. It was, uh, when was it? It was around four years ago. Uh, three and a half years ago. I had a client who was sleepwalking for 24 years with a narcissist. So when you hear about this thing called sleepwalking, you are talking about a person that their soul has been captured. They do not, they do not have control over their soul and they are now walking and sleeping. They are sleepwalking and they are following a certain pattern and that pattern can go on for years until by some divine intervention a person has got an opportunity and a chance to wake up. So, a lot of people around the world, they don't even realize they are sleepwalking. So, the moment when you start waking up, and I've told you guys that waking up is a stage. These are stages. You keep on going from one stage to another, okay? It's not something which just, just like blows up all of a sudden. The big one can come, but normally it's a stage. It's an evolution process. You are seeing around you, you may even sometimes walk around. I do not know the proper statistics, but you may walk around the entire day in your own town. And you may be very lucky to find a person that is awakened. You may be very lucky to find a person, a walk soul, a walk individual that is actually awakened. You may be very lucky. But you're just moving around and you're passing through, you, 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 you're passing by, you're passing people, you, you're meeting people, you're passing people, you're greeting people, you're hugging people, and everybody around you is sleepwalking. That is a very terrifying thing to even to put in your mind. That almost 90% of the people that you meet on a regular basis, they are asleep. If you come to think of it, ladies and gentlemen, it is very terrifying. So, like I've said, me, I was seven years. I was asleep for seven years. And then I woke up one day. I figured out this narcissist. I packed my bags and I left. I've never looked back since then. My life has continued to change. So the only way that you can get a breakthrough is when you're able to wake up from this deep sleep. Because this deep sleep has been designed by the Matrix. Let us start from the family, for example. You are born in that family. Yes, it could, it could have been a dysfunctional family system. But even if it wasn't a dysfunctional family system, it could have been an ordinary family. Yes, normal family, regular family. But now you had a problem with the school. So these families, now they sent you to school. Now you went to school. And of course, they started putting these things in your head, the things you need to know and whatever, teaching you all this. And, and, they're, and they're teaching you a lot of this garbage. I'm not saying there's a problem. I'm not saying there's a problem with school, but the moment you wake up, you understand there is, there is a problem with school because there is people who have actually graduated and they have spent significant amounts of money in school, and they are not they are not able to show anything out of this. They have got degrees, they have got uh, what do they call those PhDs? They have got masters and everything. They have nothing to show for it. They have wasted all their time in school learning things that they do not even need. Okay. Now you was born in a normal, a normal family, yes, but the program, actually, you caught up with this program at school. If you didn't catch up with the program at school, 
you most likely went and caught up with this program in church. Maybe you was born into a Christian family, very Christian background and everything. And now the only thing they told you was to go to church and they gave you some books to read and everything. You are now very deep into this program. Even when a person wakes up like me and I come around to tell you the truth and I will sit down with you and I've always told you guys, I always talk about the truth. I will teach you guys and I tell you this, this is what is exactly is going on. That is the truth of this and that is the truth of that because I'm awakened. The program is very deep in your head that you're even doing. You are going to... Have you guys, about, have you guys have heard about these things they call the religious wars? There are some nations, even sometimes they have got religious wars. They are fighting religious wars because that religion is fighting with this religion. That one doesn't believe in this one. They are just religious wars. And you can't even understand what they are fighting about. <coughs> are you guys following? So this whole thing is a setup. It's a trap. Humanity has been trapped for the longest of time. That is because in this system, that thing so-called the matrix is run by individuals who don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to wake up. They want you to keep on going in a cycle until the last day of your life. There are sometimes when I talk about churches, for example, and people are like, oh, oh what is wrong with you? You're a satanist. You're a devil worshiper. And this and this. And they don't understand what I'm doing. Because I'm awake. So there are some guys, they are very deeply programmed in the system of the church and they do not understand what I'm even talking about. And they're going to be like, oh, you know, you're a devil worshiper. Oh, this new, guru, the new age and the gurus and stuff like that. All oh, this spiritual stuff is evil and the stuff like that because that's what they have been told in church. So they have been told that all this spiritual stuff and everything is evil. And this is the church which is the right one. So everybody must believe in the Bible, the scriptures and everything. That's what you must believe. So me when I come out and I tell you otherwise, because I know what the truth is, you don't tell me about those things of Bible and everything. There are some things which are even connected to spirituality inside the Bible, but it has got nothing to do with the truth. The moment you wake up, you are starting to understand everything you have ever been told from day one is a lie. So, when I talk about sleepwalking, this is what I'm trying to explain, that we have been asleep for the longest of time. So it is until a person one day, by some divine intervention, you awaken and you realize that the power has always been inside of you. The power was not in your pastors. The power was not in your parents' hands. The power was not in your church. The power was not in your communities. Ladies and gentlemen, the power was always inside of you. And you just didn't know this. It is very liberating, ladies and gentlemen, to wake up one day from that deep sleep and you realize we live in a world full of infinite possibilities. You can be anything, you can go anywhere, you can do anything. But you cannot know this unless you have fully awakened. So that's what they call sleepwalking. In other words, we have been sleepwalking this whole time. So let me know think about the video in the comment section below. I know that my videos are a little bit, you know, mind bending and something like that. A lot of you guys may get it twisted. But the ones who get it, they get it. Okay, so drop us a comment if you understand what I'm talking about. You guys do know that I don't have and appreciate your support. You can always book a session with me if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.